we then now asked ourselves, what other places can we visit? Why didn't Wasson, who was an indefatigable researcher who went all over the world to the Far East, to the Middle East, to Europe, collecting information on mushrooms, why didn't he travel just two hours east of Plain Corral to this incredible uh, church of Saint Martin de Vic in France, a 12th century church, where there is an incredible series of frescoes and where Julie had our aha moment about the psychedelic gospels. We walked into the choir and Julie pointed at the wall and she said, do you see what I see? And after a little while I said, oh yes I do. This is such a fascinating fresco because you have the Old Testament story of the purification of Isaiah's lips fused with Jesus' entry on the donkey into Jerusalem. But the joyful youth who are greeting him are not holding palm leaves there. One youth is holding on to very distinct psilocybin mushroom caps, which are distinct from the other plants you see there. They unfold their blue mantle, blue-tinged mantle, which goes throughout the whole scene unifying. And Isaiah was not so much uh, just simply an Old Testament visionary. He was a prophet who almost foresaw the entire unfolding of the New Testament and the coming of Christ and the coming of the Gospels. Moving down to the next wall, they are moving towards the towers of Jerusalem and there on top of the Jerusalem are more happy-faced, plump men cutting down with long knives psilocybin mushroom caps. And they are standing right over this picture of the Last Supper in which Jesus and his disciple, if you could get close and see their eyes, have this otherworldly dis dis uh, expression. They the, there are mushroom caps cut up with the same long knives that were used to cut the stems on top of the towers of Jerusalem. At that point, the fresco started talking to us. We felt we were transported back into medieval period that time stood still. And we're saying, this is an alternative gospel. Whoever the Benedictine monks and the artists who made this, they're telling us that there's an alternative history of Christianity, a different story about the life of Jesus, different than the one told in the Canon Gospels and even in the Gnostic Gospels.